Hello everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you five simple prompts which you can use to create beautiful landscape like these ones. I personally want to create a series of landscape images to beautify my own apartment, but you can create them just for artistic pleasure or to get better at prompt engineering. If this is your first time to my channel, I would like to welcome you. I recommend you to go to my playlist section where all the videos I have posted already are organized in playlists so you can find what's relevant to you. Before we get started, make sure to have your Playground AI account set up. If you don't have that already, go to this playlist called Playground AI where I have already created videos on all the basic features. All right, let's get started. So first, let me walk over some of the main presets I have in place. The first thing I usually do for these videos is I have them running in a private session. If you toggle this, it's going to run in private. That means it's not going to show up in this feed. The second thing is I create images one at a time. You can do four, but it's better to demonstrate when I do it one at a time. So there's a single focus point right here. I set my filters to none because I don't want any other filters to interfere with what I'm trying to show you with the prompt. The next thing is I usually have some prompt exclusions in place. That means my image will usually have these things removed from it. I usually have a different set of exclusions for landscapes versus portraits. There is usually no faces or extra limbs. Actually, I have this one extra fingers, which I don't need. So I'm going to copy this and use it for my exclusions. For today's video, I'm going to use a simple prompt to start off with. So I'm going to use a European city street. All right, this is how an average European street looks like in most countries, I think. The first prompt I'm going to add on to this is called Vibrant Production. So if I say European city street with Vibrant Production, and click Generate. Cool, now we have the same European street, but it looks more vibrant. This looks like a happy summer day somewhere in Italy. If you're not happy with the quality of the first images, you can of course upscale it. So if you click actions and upscale by 4x. Nice, so we have the same image, but it's upscaled. I think the leaves got slightly better quality. I think the sharpness of the edges of the windows got a bit better. I'm gonna download this. I'm gonna do one more generation to see what I come up with. Nice, this is a different version of European city street. It looks like somewhere in Prague maybe because of the sharp building right here. And the colors are definitely vibrant. All right, let me reset my prompt. So I'm gonna do European city street again and do another generation. Cool, this actually is not bad. It looks like an average day somewhere in Europe, but I think it's lacking some colors. So I'm gonna say European city street shimmering with colors. Amazing, it looks like it added a lot of colors on all the houses. There's more plants again. There's some red flowers right here. I really like this shade of purple. Let me see how this one looks upscaled. Wow, this is pretty cool. I'm going to download that as well. If you want to add a specific kind of color, so I can say European city street shimmering with yellow colors. That is just a variation of the second prompt. Nice, this is a different variation of the European city street, but instead of trying to color the houses, it actually added a lot of flowers or maybe this is just the fall and this is the color of the leaves in the fall. Actually in Europe, they just call it autumn. So this is like an autumn scene in Europe. Now you see how this prompt can be used for a generic set of colors or a specific color if you want. I'm going to reset the prompt again. This time, let me go a bit more artistic. I'm just going to say European city street comma acrylic palette knife. And I'll tell you why I use knife here just in a bit. So if you generate this once again, it's going to give you an artistic rendering of a European city street as if it was painted using an acrylic palette knife. If you have ever seen a painter use a palette knife instead of a paintbrush, this is how the style usually is. All these lines here in the bottom and in the sky are designed using the edge of a palette knife. Now, if you do the same generation without using the word knife, it's going to give you a design which is made using acrylic paint, but it does not really use an acrylic knife. But I think both are pretty cool. So I'm going to do one more generation with the knife. And this time it came up with a night scene in a European city street. I'm going to add an upscale there. And now with the better quality, I'll just click download. Let me reset it again. And this time I'm going to use photorealistic concept art. Cool, this gives me a different version of Europe. I think here it's trying to mix modern buildings with slightly more European style windows. I'm going to do one more generation of it. Nice, this seems to be another variation. I personally like this one better, so I'm going to upscale that. 
and click download all right let's reset the prompt again the last one i'm going to use it's called fabulous magical concept so this is going to give you sort of a dreamy variation of the prompt there's this misty vibe about this picture which i really like let's see how it looks upscaled nice i think i really like this one so i'm going to download it and try one more variation of it very interesting it looks like there's this whole lamp floating in the middle of the air that is definitely magical and there's this sunset happening in the corner the only thing non-european about this is the lack of people because if you go to any major city there's never empty streets like this all right now as a bonus i want to combine a couple of these prompts i'm going to say vibrant production of a european city street shimmering with colors I like how there's a bunch of lights here reflecting on the streets while the deep blue sky is also reflecting on the streets. I definitely need to upscale this one. Definitely one of my favorite ones still now. Alright, let's have some fun. So I'm going to say vibrant production of a European city street shimmering with colors with an acrylic palette knife. Alright, it's getting harder and harder to choose which one's my favorite. I don't even know what this is. It looks like a walkway up a bridge maybe. And there's some reflections of the sky on the street. I'm going to upscale this one as well. I might need to just print this for my bedroom. All right, for the last combination, I'm going to keep everything the same. But I'm going to add a fabulous magical landscape. All right, this generated another artistic rendering of a European city street. Let me remove the palette knife just to get a more realistic version. And by the way, you can always change the dimensions. Let me try this one with 1024 by 1024 so you can get a larger image. I'm going to keep a vibrant production of a European city street, shimmering with colors and a fabulous magical landscape. Wow, that looks unreal. So usually the pictures I've seen till now has the street lamps against the street. Since I mentioned a fabulous magical landscape, it lifted these lights on top of these windows and instead of adding one or two windows, it added like 50 of them. I'm going to do a last upscale and I'm going to download that. But I hope you see how easy it is to go from something very simple like this to something which doesn't even look real all the way here. But I think that's the power of AI art generation. Just like a real artist would think, it creates interpretations of simple prompts in ways you might never have thought of. But I hope you got some value from this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more videos coming up. Till the next one, thank you so much.